today, June 25th, 2016. Songs of Salvation Choral Competition in the Mid-Atlantic. Graduates recognized in the Southeastern Seaboard and North San Diego shares their faith while getting fit. Hello everyone, welcome to INC Live Update. I'm Macy Padilla coming to you from our San Francisco studios. We start out today in the Mid-Atlantic where Brethren are showcasing their soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. With us live is Therese Joyce Bautista with more. Hi, Therese. Hi, Macy. I am here in Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Greenbelt, Maryland, where the District of Mid-Atlantic is conducting its first ever Songs of Salvation Choral Competition. To prepare for this monumental event, each local congregation form groups consisting of brethren from all Christian family organi organizations who are non-choir members. They all prepare musical arrangements from the various songs in the Christian music albums of the Church of Christ. For the past few weeks, brethren have rigorously rehearsed their songs to showcase their love for music and singing. The camaraderie and love of the brotherhood could truly be felt here today. Activities like these that are approved by the church administration enable brethren to edify and share their faith through their love for Christian music. From Greenbelt, Maryland, I'm Therese Joyce Bautista reporting for INC Live Update. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Therese. Now let's go to Miami, Florida, where Kim Rabara is standing by live to tell us how the class of 2016 is being recognized there. Hi, Kim. Thanks, Macy. Students in the District of Southeastern Seaboard, along with their parents and families, have traveled to the local congregations of Miami, Florida and South Atlanta, Georgia, to attend a special gathering to celebrate and honor those who have received academic achievements. The lesson was delivered by District Minister Brother Antonio Duenas in Miami and by Assistant District Minister Brother Steve Innocencio in South Atlanta. This message implored the youth to remain diligent in their studies while remaining active in their duties and strong in the faith. Following the special gathering, a program presenting musical numbers from the Iglesia Ni Cristo music albums and fun games and activities celebrated the students who have achieved academic successes, especially those who graduated from high school or college courses. As the brethren journey back to their respective homes, they have been filled with a renewed sense of vigor, especially the youth and young children of the church, to uphold our spiritual fervor. From Miami, Florida, I'm Kim Rabara for INC Live Update. Thank you, Kim. Our final story is from San Diego, California, where the brethren used this sunny Saturday morning to hold their annual 5K fun run. And they even brought something special for the new friends that they might meet there. With us live is Elma Joy Trinidad with more. Hi, Elma Joy. Hi, Macy. We are here at Lake Miramar, where the brethren from North San Diego are getting INC fit at today's 5K fun run and saturation drive, featuring brotherhood, fitness, and sharing our faith through acts of kindness. With us today, we have fitness coach and Light of Salvation officer, Cynthia Papa. Welcome, Cynthia. Hey, Elma. Hey. So can you tell us what INC Fit is all about? So INC Fit is the concept of doing your best to improve your physical health um, with the main purpose of improving our spiritual health. Awesome. So why, is, why should people give importance to both spiritual and physical well-being? Well, you know, as members of the Church of Christ, um, spiritual training is already on the top of our list. And so really it's all connected, our physical fitness, because we use our bodies and we need our health, we need our strength in order to serve the Lord. Awesome. So that's so exciting. So how can we get involved in INC Fit or, or how do you suggest we get started? So to get started, just start with a small goal. Um, and I suggest grabbing a friend who doesn't have to have the same goal, you know, but you could work together and work and be accountability partners for each other. Awesome. So, uh, you know, this is a beautiful place, Lake Miramar. Is there a special reason we chose this location for today's event? So we chose this location particularly because there's so many people here who definitely are into their physical fitness. Um, there's people who jog here. There's people who train for marathons. And so we wanted to come out and, and share our faith with them and show them that 
there is a spiritual side to training as well, and in hopes that they would be with us in doing that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Sure, Elma. Awesome. So as you can see, we are super excited to get INT fit and even stronger to run our spiritual and physical races. Reporting live from North San Diego, California, I'm Elma Joy Trinidad. Back to you in the studio. This is to Elma Joy. Well, that is it for this edition of INC Live Update. Follow us on social media to stay up to date with all the latest news and events happening inside the Iglesia Cristo Church of Christ. And if you want your local or district activity to be featured here on the show, email us at news1 at incmedia.org. I'm Macy Padilla, and on behalf of the INC Live Update team, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.